The one sunrise, Massachusetts will finish rolling out a new resource meant to empower survivors of sexual assault. It's called Track Kid, and it's already in place in Bristol County. NBC 10's Tamara Sarkarsik is here to explain how it works. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, guys. Yeah, hospitals typically start the process of collecting evidence after someone is sexually assaulted. The evidence goes into a kit and becomes a critical part of the investigation. For the first time ever, survivors will be able to see exactly where that kit goes. No yellow tape, no evidence markers, and no canine unit. When someone's raped, their body becomes the crime scene, containing critical evidence that could differentiate innocence from guilt. When uh, there is such uh, DNA and the opportunity to show that, that the assailant's you know, presence on the victim's body, it really uh, helps. That's why rape kits are essential in these investigations. But across the country, those kits have been backlogged in the past, taking days, weeks, and even months to process, while the survivors are left in the dark. That'll now no longer be the case in Massachusetts, thanks to a new system called TrackIt. TrackIt is, um, is a system that uh, is uh, accessed by users across a state for tracking sexual assault kits from the time that they're collected until the time that they're stored. We spoke to the company behind the groundbreaking software. They told me every rape kit will be given a barcode that's linked to a confidential online system. The system tracks the kit as it's transferred from the hospital to the police agency to the crime lab. I think the biggest change and the, the most beneficial change is that um, sexual assault uh, victims themselves now have an opportunity to see where the kit is at. Michelle Loranger is the executive director of the Children's Advocacy Center of Bristol County. She also served on the Governor's Council for Sexual Assault and Domestic Violence, which helped craft a 2018 law requiring the state to implement a system to track newly collected rape kits. We really want to make it easier um, for survivors to have access to information that they um, deserve. The system also tracks deadlines. Under the new state law, police have three days to pick up the rape kits and one week to bring them to the crime lab, which then has 30 days to test them. What Track It is doing is making sure that that legislation is enforced by reporting, by keeping track of all the kits and reporting that this is actually happening. A groundbreaking system that's meant to instill accountability in state agencies while providing a new sense of hope for survivors of sexual assaults. Empower them with information. It's probably the uh, most important um, thing that we can do for, for survivors is um, let them have access to information that uh, is theirs. The tracking system will go live across the state today, making Massachusetts one of seven states to use it. The Department of Health in Rhode Island told us they've never had a backlog. Live in the studio, Tamara Sakarzik, NBC 10 News.